Ladies and gentlemen and ninjas, welcome back to the African Geekdom with Anna Yaman JP. So, uh, Dune released another trailer, Dune Part 2. Let's get into it and let's react to this thing, people. Uh, I've had discussed this before that I read the book, the first book, Dune itself, and this movie as well. This is the second part of that first book. If you don't know, hard press not to know these days. But, uh,. I never finished uh, the second book, which was about, you know, Paul Atreides basically losing himself and about to lose everything. Uh, they said they're going to make a third movie, let's hope so, or let's hope not. Which is why they cast um, Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho, because he does come back in the second book. Or is it him? I didn't finish it. It was a clone, supposedly. Love them clones. Alright, without any further adieu. Let's, uh, yeah, let's watch this thing. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. Okay, a -A Tell me, what was it about? <laughs> it's only fragments. Is it Paul? Is it only fragments? Nothing's clear. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. My family's been fighting them for centuries. You've not done a good job of it. Your blood comes from dukes, then great houses. Here, we're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Except for the Muad'Dib, he ain't equal. Well, I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. Yo. I'm saying. Uh, just this part about uh, like the equal to you, maybe I'll show you the way. I don't remember that in the books. And maybe they added a few things because I did feel like uh, maybe the books uh, it focused more on the political tension and the matter of facts of what was going on and was a bit more removed from the personal stuff. Because, uh, spoiler alert, I don't know if this is going to be in the movie, but Cheney and Paul did have a son within that time. They had a child, and the child does die off page even in the book. You don't get to see that, or you don't really get to deal with the emotional after effects of that for Paul and Cheney. I don't, maybe Cheney, I don't, but Paul was like a rock. Um... But maybe they fix that in this movie or it's not in it at all. What do I know? But that, I don't think that line of dialogue was in the book. If they added some more romantic personal stuff in the movie, kudos to them. Not an issue with it. Uh, let's get back into it. Deal with this prophet. Send assassins. Fade Rotha. He's psychotic. Was he though? possible futures all at once and in so many futures our enemies prevail I do see a way there is a narrow way through my allegiance is to you do you believe me this is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. I want you to know I will love you as long as I breathe. You will never lose me as long as you stay who you are. Consider what you're about to do, you fool Atreides. Silence! You are not prepared for what is to come. Ah, oh, man, I wish, I wish the fuck that I could get to watch it in. Um, 
in IMAX. But we don't have IMAX cinemas here in Seychelles, so... Do, 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 do. It is what it is. Ain't that about a bitch? Now, I've heard... Heard... During my various stints of researching... It seems that this movie is uh, around 2 hours and 40 minutes something. And I'm willing to bet my left nut, or all of my nuts, that there is probably a three to four hour cut of this. Which I would love to see. Yeah? Shit, listen to me. The movie isn't even out yet. It hasn't been savaged by the critics or the people online and um, talking about the watching a three to four hour cut. But if anything ever deserved a three to four hour cut, it is this. And Denis Villeneuve, chapeau. He's close to becoming one of my favorite directors. And on top of all that, this movie uh, might actually make me like Timothy Chalamet. I don't see the point of him. Every now and then, every uh, decade or so, or half a decade, one of these fresh new faced actors come along as the next big thing, and everybody's on their nerves. Right now, it's Timothy Charlemagne and what's that girl that was in James Bond? She played Marilyn Monroe as well. Don't remember. Don't like her. She's about to be in one of the John Wick spin-offs. Don't see the point of her either. Don't know why everybody's on her tit. But that's just me. Hollywood sometimes likes to push certain people forward. Yeah, this is a good role for Timothy Charlemagne. I'm talking all this shit. But I do not see who else could have paid, played Paul Atreides. In my head, I don't have a recommendation. I think he's perfect in the role. So there, there is that. And I'm gonna be there, bells on Friday night when this comes out. I'm telling you, proto Star Wars, June, frankly. Mm. Damn, this look good. Though. This is how we do it. <laughs> look like, hey. Right. Look at that explosion, eh? Look at that. Anyhow, um, this has been me, your man JP. Nothing but good things to say about June part two. I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you enjoyed my reaction. I hope you guys go to see the movie when it comes out. Support this movie. Comment, leave a like, subscribe. May the force be with you, live long and prosper. May the odds be ever in your favor, what kind of forever, my ninjas. I'll catch you on the next one, Kill Wing. <laughs>